in Dallas, Texas, saying, How about this? It was a record-breaking night that can only be described as epic. Welcome into the show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside Coach Mitchell. Coach, let's don't waste any time and get right to it. What a game out in Dallas, Texas as you took on Baylor. Just a great atmosphere. Uh, AT&T Stadium was a great venue for the game and uh, we really were in a battle with Baylor and uh, thought we had it maybe one in, in regulation and then a big three-point shot at the end of regulation by Monty Wright got Baylor into an overtime. Uh, we were able to get Odyssey Sims out of the game, and we thought maybe we could win in one overtime, and that wasn't to be, but we just had some really, really tough plays. Castine Evans made a layup, I think, in the second or third overtime. I don't even know what overtime we're on now, yeah. But Denise Stallworth was really big in the, in the overtime extra periods with her rebounding. I thought some rebounds that she got, Christy, really uh, put us in a position where we could finish the game. But Jennifer O'Neill was incredible in this game, 43 points. Uh, she really played with a lot of confidence and uh, really was able to get us over the top. Epic game for her. Speaking of, of that term and using that word, she sets a school record for points in a game with 43. The 133 point total for the Cats is also a school record. Amazing that you put up that many points. Yeah, it was, you know, really the 133 in four overtimes is incredible, but uh, the, the, the amount of points that was scored in regulation by both teams and you just, we couldn't stop them, they couldn't stop us. It was almost whoever had the ball last was gonna get it done. And I thought some free throws down the stretch in, in regulation and some of the overtime periods really hurt us and, and let Baylor stay in the game. But so proud of our team for finding a way to win and, and just a real special atmosphere and venue. It was great, something that we'll all certainly remember. Well, she's one of Kentucky's fabulous freshman All-Americans and she's on Coach Mitchell's 30 Second Shot Clock. 30 Second Shot Clock this week. Welcome in, everybody. It's very exciting to introduce to you a freshman Wildcat, a high school All-American, and one of my very most favorite people in the world from Lebanon, Kentucky, Michaela Epps. How are you doing, Michaela? I'm good, Coach. Everything going well for you at Kentucky? I'm going great. Enjoying yourself? Michaela, tell me what genre of music that you uh, like in particular. What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, I like country music. Do you? Yeah. You, but you like all sorts of music, but country music's yeah. good. Who's your favorite artist? It had to be Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan! Uh, 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 uh. I like Luke Bryan. You know he's going to be in Rupp Arena here soon. Do we know the date on that? Luke, soon. Luke Bryan's going to be. Are you going to go to that show? I'm going to try. Oh, that'll be great. Call home mom and dad, see if we can get some money up here so we can get to Luke Bryan. See if you can chip in for something for me. Let me ask you this. Down in Lebanon, Kentucky, how do we pronounce tomato? We pronounce it tomato. Do you ever call them maters? Yeah, we have our moments when we call them tomatoes, maters. T tomatoes, maters. Well, you have really done well early in your career. What would you say is the biggest difference between high school and college basketball? The main difference, the biggest difference is just how hard you have to work. You have to work really hard here, you know, especially if you go through your high school and you somewhat uh, cruise through it. Uh, but when you get here, it's all about working every day. There's no days off when you're not going to work harder and try to get better. You think that's going to help you become the player you want to be? Yeah, definitely. Well, you're off to a great start. We are glad that Michaela Epps is here. I'm, I'm Coach Mitchell. That's Michaela Epps. That's 30 seconds shot clock. Coach Michaela's really giving you some good minutes. She's doing a great job, Christy, and I think really starting to hit her stride on the floor. Such a positive young woman has really come to Kentucky with the desire to play here and has worked so hard. I think she has a very bright future. We're glad she's here with us. Certainly glad she's a Wildcat. We look forward to seeing her uh, in years to come. Well, coming up, it's Coach and Bernicia on the Guitar Tip of the Week. You won't want to miss that. Stay with us. The Matthew Mitchell Show is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford, by Window World, by McDonald's, by Kennedy's Wildcat Den, by Central Bank, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by P-Rats, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by UK Healthcare, and by Commonwealth Credit Union.
open, eh? Ow! Ow! Come in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. No, that's another segment. It's another edition of Guitar Tip of the Week. I'm your... Did Sailor really put that in there? She certainly did, and her mother just watched her do it. No discipline in this house, and discipline's one of the winning tools, isn't it? Yes. I'm your host, Coach Mitchell. I'm joined by the brave, the busy, and the boisterous Big Shot Burn from our nation's capital, Young Niche. How are you? I'm fine, Coach. It's time for you ask Young Niche, and the question comes from Carrie in Salt Lake, Kentucky. Young Niche, yes or no, what is your major? Yes. On to the shout outs to Luther in Anchorage, Alaska, to George Walker Bush, 43rd President of the United States. W, we love you. How'd you, what'd you think about that, young one? We got to meet George W. Bush, Mr. President. It was really fun. It was real fly. He's a fly guy. He had a nice tie on everything, looked sharp. Ask you where you're from. Mm -hmm. What'd you tell him? Washington, D.C. Our nation's capital to Christopher Montgomery, our humble and obedient servant. Been working UK Hoops games for 30 years. And here's why I like him. He says that the Matthew Mitchell Show is only the best show on television, period. To Debbie Little Hacker from Birmingham, Alabama, won't you paint me in Birmingham? She gets to watch the Lady Cats sometimes. Shout out to her mother from Manchester. Did not mention her mother's name. Uh, that's very rude of you, Debbie. To Bill from Manchester and to her brother Paul, who, guess where he lives? Manchester! Take it away, young niece! To me now, Strauss in Lexington, Kentucky. Where you at, me now? Whoop. Where you at, man? We ain't seen you in no game, baby. <laughs> to Ryan Rogers in Indiana, he wants to mention his wife and kids on the show. Hello. To Becky, his wife and his kids, Jordan, Aaron, and Brianna. Now, let me ask you something, Brian. What have you done? What have you done at the house that you're trying to get some little brownie points by having the wife and the kid's name, right? Yeah. Something's going on with you, Brian. Go ahead. We thank y'all for watching the show each week. And to everybody's favorite uncle, Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallington, Tennessee. Did you see them down in Murfreesboro? I didn't. I, I hugged them. They said that they love you and they love me and they love the show. We love them, don't we? Everybody's yeah. favorite uncle. T-shirt this week goes to the Rogers family. There's clearly some issues in that household. We're going to try to smooth it over with some of these nice tie-dyed shirts. So go to the Facebook and get those uh, sizes until you set Facebook page. I do. No, you don't. If you want to shout out to us now and you want your name read on the national television, just write on in on that Facebook page. And that's the guitar tip of the week. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Big Blue Cat Corner. This is the on the National Network Show, where last week, The Big Blue Cat Corner, brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. It's Matthew Mitchell reporting for the Big Blue Cat Corner. Really, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? What is this segment? It's, uh, it's a complete and utter disaster. I mean, do you people like this? I mean, is this not the, 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 the stupidest segment ever? Uh, and really what it is is... is Keela Snowden graduated, and then nobody else wanted to do a segment. We used to have Keeping Up with the Cats with Keela Snowden. This is the cheapest mustache I think they could ever have bought. How much did this cost? It gets caught in my mouth. I can't, it's, this is awful. Anyway, we had Keeping Up with the Cats. So then the idea was, well, we'll have a new segment, Coach. It'll be real funny. Well, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I was trying to uh, interview Golda. Um, we still don't know if her name's Golda Johansson or Johansson. We still don't know. Golda Borst, our women's golf coach, she's refused. She's quit the show. What? Oh, no, she ain't quit the show. She's in Las Vegas. She's not here this week. And then, these, and then the, 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 the mascots uh, don't, don't show up. Why did the mascot show up? Class. Class? Oh, my gosh. Are they actually students? I thought they were real wildcats. Uh, they're actually human beings? And they go to class? Well, that's real good planning there, Slacks. Slacks is the producer of this, and I'm giving her the full uh, responsibility for this segment being so terrible. Uh, top stories here. Um, we already reported on the permafrost. This is just absolutely awful. 
Uh, this is how I feel about this segment right here. Can you see this? Jennifer O'Neill scored 43 points. We'll never be able to control her the rest of her. The, in the history uh, of, of the rest of her career, she scored 43 points. She came, got on to me over there on, on the sideline the game like she's coaching the team. She probably needs to. This segment has to end. Thank you to the McGee's for, uh, for, for, for uh, sponsoring it. Uh, this is Matthew Mitchell on the Big Blue Cat Corner. Coming up, Jenna is cooking up one of Coach's favorites for his birthday. We're heading to the Coach's Kitchen when we come back. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen, and I am happy to report a Matthew Mitchell Hall of Fame chef, first of all. My wife, beautiful wife. Don't you look beautiful today? Thank you. That's so sweet. She's award-winning chef. The, I'm happy to report that the first two episodes of the seventh season of The Coach's Kitchen are the highest-rated segments oh in the history of the show. And, Jenna, your comments on that, why do you think that is? Why are we off to such a smoking start on The Coach's Kitchen? Because of me. It, well, I wasn't anticipating that. I was, I was thinking uh -huh. it was because of my high energy and, 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 and intensity here. But... As they say, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that what they say? That's what they say, right? You like that? Yeah. Well, we're just a couple of days, depending on when you're watching this program, we're just a couple of days away from Coach Mitchell's birthday, the big 4-3 oh, yeah. this year. <laughs> I'm, I'll tell you what, I am bearing down on the big 5-0, baby, but I'm going to oh, go in feeling good and working hard. And so in honor of my birthday, we're having one of my very favorite dishes of all time. Tell them about it, Jenna. Chicken Parmesan. And it's also a great dish to serve uh, during the holidays. It is? Yes. What, if, if you're Italian, would you say? No, it? it's just a nice uh, dish. It's red and white and green. It has Christmas colors. Isn't it an Italian dish, though? Italian. It's right? Italian It's dish. from Italy. Yes. And so... At any rate, let's get to the recipe. So I take a chicken breast. I don't understand how it's a good I, holiday dish. Because the colors, red, white, and green, it's Christmas colors. Gotcha. Makes sense now. I'm, I'm keeping yeah. it up okay. now. So I take a chicken breast and I uh, cut it in half. They look thinly sliced there. Well, Do you ever I, pulverize them and all? Do you pulverize yeah. the, so the chicken? So then I'm going to take one chicken and I put it in egg wash. And this is one egg with some whole milk. What is egg wash? Uh, it's one egg with whole milk. One egg with whole milk. And here's some panko uh, breadcrumbs. Panko! We love the panko. You remember the panko, folks. It's making its first appearance of the new season, but Jenna loves the panko okay, breadcrumbs. There's also Japanese, uh, pardon me, panko uh, breadcrumbs or Japanese breadcrumbs. I thought breadcrumbs. it was an Italian dish. Matthew. You're saying it's a Japanese Shh. dish. <laughs> oh my gosh. The breadcrumbs are Japanese. So, the bread Matthew, are Japanese Shh. on an Italian. Uh, and there's Italian seasoning in I here. I can't keep up. Can oh you gosh. make it home? No, they probably can't because you're talking too much. Oh, I better be quiet then. So, breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese. What about Jap and Japanese? And salt and pepper. Okay. And then uh, then we're going to put it in a frying pan. Uh, fry it. Uh, Around 350 degrees in the frying pan. No. No. No? On medium-high for about uh, three minutes per side until it's nicely brown. Then you're going to finish it in the oven until it's cooked through. Sounds good. Okay, we've come over to the stove. And Jenna, what's the next step? We're going to put it in a, a pan with some canola oil. It's nice and healthy. A few minutes on per side so it gets nice and brown. And then just take the pan right to the oven and finish it in the oven. All right, it's time to take the chicken off of the... Stove top and transfer to the oven. Look how beautiful that is. We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven until it's cooked through. So now we're putting the finishing touches on, Jenna. This looks beautiful. So a few minutes before it's done, uh, you can either do a homemade red sauce or can your favorite uh, jarred red sauce. Put a little red sauce on and then a slice of fresh mozzarella back in the oven uh, just till the mozzarella melts. Would you take a look at this? Jenna, you have had some outstanding... Wait a minute, what is this? Uh, some fresh basil. Boy, you've had some outstanding dishes on this program, but I don't know if any of them have looked this beautiful. Oh, and then you can also sprinkle some... Yeah, I'll sprinkle it on there. Yeah. Well, 
another successful addition here. And then you can serve this with uh, linguine or spaghetti. Oh, what are we gonna do for my birthday? Uh, this is your birthday dinner. I don't have time to cook all the time. <laughs> I'm cooking for the show. Happy birthday, babe. Love you. <laughs> Very nice of you. I think so. And that's unbelievable. Good. Oh my gosh. Good. That's crazy. You are, do you have any Italian blood in you? I can ask my mom, but I'll... You may be from Italy for all we know. That's incredible. <laughs> well, if you want... you set Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. If you want to interact with us, just shoot us a little message here. We'll tell you all about what we're doing on the Coach's Kitchen. What do we tell the good folks? We'll see you next week. All right. And so if you're shooting... If right, you want to play basketball at a high a level, you have to first and master a layup. Like when a we come back, Coach will show you how to do just that. But first, for our McDonald's fast break of the week, in the second half of that epic game with Baylor, Jen O'Neill on the run, takes it in for the layup, gets the and one on her way to breaking the school record for points in a game with 43 as the Cats win in quadruple overtime. Well worthy of the McDonald's fast break of the week. UK Athletics is still making great strides in building a successful, comprehensive athletic program. This could not have been achieved without support of the fans, donors, and sponsors. UK Athletics and UK IMG Sports Marketing wish to extend this special thank you to our following official corporate partners. McDonald's, Central Bank, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kroger, Nike, and Papa John's. Coaches Tip of the Week this week. Welcome back, everybody. It's the time of the show where our younger viewers become better players. I'm joined by two of our fantastic freshmen, both from Lebanon, Kentucky, Michaela Epps, Kyle and Rogers. How are we doing today, ladies? That's great. That's great. Last week, we worked on ball handling with two basketballs. This week, we're going to talk about the most important shot in basketball, especially for a young player to master, is the layup. All right, so we're going to show you two layups today. One is called a speed layup, and when we, what we want to do with a speed layup is this is when we're all alone, no one's around us, and we have a clear path to the basket. Two things really important. Get the ball, snatch it by your ear, all right? And so if you're shooting a right-handed layup, you're going to jump off your left foot and let just feel like there's a string tied from your knee to your elbow. And as you pull the ball up, it pulls your knee up, and that gives you your power where you can spring up. Same thing on the left side. If you're shooting it with your left hand, your left knee comes up, your right foot to the shooting foot, and you drive up, and that helps you get the ball up off the glass. For a power layup, it's when you are guarded or you're even, and here you want to get under the goal and you want to go off two feet. Really load your hips, come up strong, shoot it with your right hand, load your hips, come up strong, shoot it with your left hand. So that's when you're closely guarded and the speed is when you're not guarded. Let's see a speed layup first from the right side. Kyvan Good and Rogers, good speed layup. Watch her, she's going to drive her knee up, get the ball up off the glass. Let's see a left-handed. Good job, Michaela. And then let's see a power. So get in, get your hips low, and just drive up right there. Ball up nice, soft up off the glass. Hips low, get the ball up off the glass. So being a two-handed player, shooting layups, making layups, being able to do that is going to help your game, make you a better player. That's the coach's tip of the week. Coming up on December 22nd, when Kentucky takes on Duke, we're going to pack the house, and it's also an opportunity to win a very unique prize. Yeah, we want a big crowd down at Rupp for that big game against Duke, and everybody that shows up has a chance to win a 10% interest in a three-year-old filly named Patinka. Be a very exciting way to get involved with the horse industry. Absolutely. Go to UKAthletics.com to learn more about it. You have to be present to win, so get down to Rupp Arena on December 22nd and cheer on the Cats. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was brought to you by Commonwealth Credit Union, by UK Healthcare, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by P Rats, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by Central Bank, by Kennedy's Wildcat Den, by McDonald's, by Window World. 
and by Paul Miller Ford.